So on base for the Mustangs is or from left to, to uh, right field. Back over safely to first is Jacob Ortega. Cheryl with the sign looks in, checks the runner over at first, comes to the set and the pitch, and that curved in there for a strike. Nice pitch there by Nathaniel Cheryl. Isaac Linker on deck, Jimmy Keller to follow, Alex Ortega, Austin Apple, Felix Ortega, and Connor Fajardo finish out the lineup for the Mustangs. And the delivery, and that is outside and gets by the uh, catcher, and that will send Ortega to second. Wild pitch. One ball, one strike. Now to Trey McBride. McBride, they're going to throw back to second, but in safely is Ortega. So as we said, it's a bright, sunshiny day, but howling winds from the west, from left field to right field left field really big out to center and that pitch is going to be fouled off of McBride as it rolls out just to the right of the pitcher so one ball one ball and two strikes on McBride as he kind of gathers himself up at the uh, plate Stands back in the Ortega out at second, one out. He reached on a single out to left field and the delivery, and that is going to hit McBride. Going to bring him back. Well, they said he didn't try to get out of the way of the pitch. Two balls and two strikes. And yeah, Cheryl checks the runner now in, and that ball is going to be fouled down the third base line. So we play with one out here in the top of the first. With Jacob Ortega out at second, reached on a single, and then went to second on the wild pitch by Cheryl. Ride stands in there with a two and two count. Wind blows that infield dirt around a little bit, and it's a steady 30 mile an hour wind. And that pitch is going to be inside. Ball three, three balls, and two strikes. Two trading bride. Isaac Linker on deck. Isaac playing second base as usual today. Cheryl's going to step off and Ortega scoots back to second. McBride stands in from the right side. Cheryl with the delivery and that is going to be chopped down to the third baseman and a long throw across and that is going to be over the head of the first baseman and Ortega is going to come in from second. So McBride gets on, have an error on the third baseman. But that puts the Mustangs up one to nothing. And now Isaac Linker in at the in at the plate. So one to nothing, Fort Morgan. As Isaac Linker stands in at the plate, Trey McBride out at second. As he reached on an error, and that pitch is going to be low and away. Gets away from the catcher for just a minute, but not far enough for McBride to uh, to advance. Mustangs with the early one to nothing lead. Jimmy Keller on deck. Alex Ortega 
in the hole. Cheryl now with the delivery, and that is going to be fouled at the plate. So one ball and one strike to Linker. Isaac, Isaac Linker on the year is batting at 270. Has 10 hits, 11 RBIs, and that pitch hits Linker. So that will put two on. Okay, do we have at breaks? Or do you need to okay. If you go into my... If, okay, alright, that's fine. I won't take any. I got plenty to go through. Just, I'll go. So, hit... Hit by the pitch. Now we'll bring up Jimmy Keller. So two on now, first and second. And now ball two. Excuse me, ball one. One ball and no strikes to Jimmy Keller as they sneak in behind up a second. That's going to be a hard hit ball out to left field. And they're going to bring McBride home. And McBride will get in safely as Jimmy Keller hits a single out to left field. Trey McBride comes home. And now Linker out at second. Jimmy Keller at first. Alex Ortega at the plate now as they sneak in and back out again. And that is going to be ball one. Just as windy here, I just can't tell you how because we're in a nice little press box. So two to nothing here at Fort Morgan as we play here in the top of the first. And the pitch, and that is going to be fouled over the third base, over the uh, yeah, third base dugout. So one ball and one strike now to Alex Ortega. Alex Ortega on the year will get his batting here in a minute. Oh, that's a hard hit ball out to center field. We'll see if it's going to be catchable. It is not. And that will that will bring Waker home, and that's going to send Ortega or Keller to, to uh, third. But a single out to the just short of center field. Keller is at third. And that was actually Ortega with a double. And that is going to be wide out there. But Keller comes in. And that's going to be a hit, and that will be a over to third. So now runners at second and third is Apple. Is out at second. So Ortega and Apple out on the bases, and that is going to hit Felix Ortega. So he will be on. Bases will be loaded as the Mustangs lead it here, four to nothing in the top of the first. So hit by the pitch. So now bases are loaded. Connor Fajardo catching today. Connor Fajardo on the year is batting at 259. So we've got Ortega, Apple, and Ortega at right on the uh, base pass. That'd be Alex Ortega at third, Austin Apple at second, Felix Ortega over at first. And Fajardo now with a one ball and no strike count against Cheryl, and that is going to be low and inside ball two. So two balls and no strikes to the ninth place batter, Connor Fajardo. Back over, J.P. Hamer awaits on deck. 
still only one out here in the top of the first. And the pitch is going to be in there for a strike. It was a wide strike, but was called a strike. So Nathaniel Sherrill so far with 28 pitches, 14 balls, 14 strikes. Now we've got a bag blowing out on the field, so they're going to stop play for just a minute until they get the bag taken care of. Now the wind comes through, blowing dirt at the home plate area. It's a nice field here at uh, All-Star Park, Kelly McGregor Field. In Lakewood, Cheryl now with the look and the delivery, and that is a hard hit ball out into left field. And that'll be a base hit, and they're going to send both. They're going to send Apple in from second. Fajardo with the single. So not hitting the ball real hard, just getting it placed over the short shortstop, basically. So now we'll have a... So, nice single out there. So we have runners at first and second. So we got Felix Ortega picked off out at second. As Segura, the second baseman, comes over to cover, and they will tag out Felix Ortega. That is out number two, going out just the first base. So, six to nothing here, and that pitch is going to be popped up. High, good luck infield of the Alameda Pirates. Shortstop Brown not going to be able to make the play, and it will fall in for a pitch hit. Brown will have to make it. So runners now at first and second. So Felix Ortega was picked off out at second. Swung on and popped up once again. And that is going to be... That thing would have been on to, I guess that's Harlan Street. Easy, the way he turned on it. That thing hung up in the air and it almost came all the way back to the play. It stayed outside of the chain link so. fence. And exciting foul ball off of that, Jacob Ortega. So Jacob Ortega at like the plate. Fire the collar out of play. He's going to hold on to the bench longer out there. And once they're the field, the pitch. Big old breaker stays up and it's one and one. So Jacob Ortega with the one ball, one strike count. So Hamer, I believe we have a pinch runner out at first. And that will be Castaneda. Hard hit ball once again out into left field. And so Jake, so hit out into left field for the single, but that won't burn. So, hard hit ball out into center field. And Ortega is going to come home, and he will make it. McBride is going to. He's between second and third now. And still the rundown. It is going to be. They're going to call him out. So, McBride will get the double. And then the pickle between second and third. Mustangs done here at the top of the first. They will get nine runs on seven hits. They lead it over the Alameda Pirates after one half inning. Nine to nothing. So it's nine to nothing here at the end of one. 
Okay, here at Mitchell Rigger Field, the Alameda Pirates will come up to bat as the Mustangs uh, take the field up 9 to nothing on B106 and B106.com. Brian Nickel back here at Kelly McGregor Field as uh, Patrick Gagos gets on with a single. That brings up Michael Rivera as he is playing right field and taking off. And that is going to be a foul ball. Yeah, they're going to send him back. They had taken off. Patrick Gagos had taken off, but... but so sitting in no balls and one strike here, and Alameda will steal. They have 76, or they have, uh, yeah, 76 stolen bases, and they're going to slide in there. It looks like they will get another one. Stolen base out there for Gallegos, and they said they will steal. One ball, one spike count. That's a hard hit ball. Up the middle, out to center field. And they're going to hold him at third. It's a nice job out in the center field there. So runners on the corner. So first and third. J.P. Hamer with the uh, J.P. Hamer with a nice uh, as he uh, charged that ball and threw it in keep keep Gallegos from uh, trying to uh, score he had turned the corner but did turn around and go back to third so out on the hill today is Bobby Tolson going to throw over to first to McBride J.P. Hamer in center, Jacob Ortega at shortstop, Trey McBride at first, Isaac Quaker at second base, Jimmy Keller in left field. Big best the win comes through. Alex Ortega in right field, Austin Apple at third, Felix Ortega, D.H. today, and Connor Fajardo behind the dish today for the Mustangs. For Alameda, Patrick Gagos is the D.H., Michael Rivera is right field, Sam Shell is in center field. Carlos Rosales will bat fourth and third play third. Esteban Pineda uh, will bat fifth. He is at first base. Batting sixth is Donnie Hernandez. And the pitch, and that is going to be low. They're going to throw home and try to get the. So a double steal there. So runner out at second, and that is going to be a big swing and a miss by Sam Sherrill. So one ball and one strike to Sherrill. Makes the score now 9-1. to one. Bobby Tolson pitched against the Alameda last year at home. Gave up eight runs, only two hits. Pitch in the dirt. It's now two balls and one strike. As we play here in the bottom of one, the Mustangs run put nine across in the top of the first. Alameda creating some... Uh, created that run for them by uh, getting a couple of stolen bases. Standing out at second is Michael Rivera. Sam Sherrill at the plate. Bobby Tolson looks in, now the pitch, and that is going to be low and away once again. Three balls and one strike. So we will... As we play here, where are they... Stiff wind still blowing from left to right, west to east. Now they're going to throw it back, and they got the play out So 
one to six on the putout, but ball four on Cheryl. So one out, three balls, or excuse me, you have one out here now as Carlos Rosales comes to the plate. Bobby Tolson looks in with a runner at first, and pitches in there for a strike. Couldn't tell what the umpire had done. So he checks his runner over at first. And the pitch, and that is going to be in there. Strike two as that catches the outside corner. So Carlos Rosales on the year batting at 579 with 22 hits, 13 RBIs. And the next pitch is going to be hit to McBride as he bobbles it for a minute, but will step on second for the out. Or step on first for the out, excuse me, for the second out. Grounded it out. To McBride, so running out at second now, Sam Sherrill up to the plate now is Esteban Pineda. Pineda is batting at 314. Pitches in there for a strike. No balls and one strike to Pineda. The Mustangs lead at 9-1. to one. Runner out of second, Bobby Tolson. That's a hard hit ball, and that is going to be fouled down the left field line. They're waving him in. I thought that was a foul. I thought that was a foul ball. Third base coach was waving him in, thinking it was a fair ball. So everybody back to their respective positions. So, so Pineda back at the plate. Now with two strikes. Bobby Tolson checks his runner. Now the delivery, and that is going to be a foul ball. This was a little bit wider at third base this time, so not quite the challenge on that play. So Bobby Tolson having down for 15 total pitches, 10 strikes, 5 balls. Patch. And Nathaniel Sherrill through 36 in the top of the first. Bobby Tolson gets blowed off the mound. Gets his position back up again. Dig his cleats in a little deeper. As he checks his runner. And now the delivery. And that is going to be up and out, apparently. Just a little outside. So one ball and two strikes. As Bobby Tolson steps off the bag for just off the rubber for just a minute. Tolson looks in it for Jarno, gets his signal, now checks his runner, and the delivery, and that is going to be in, and that is going to be, that's going to get by, must be a foul ball. So they will send Pineda, or send Cheryl back to second. But it went, got through uh, for Jarno, but it was a foul ball, so Tolson looks in once again to for Jarno to get the sign checks his runner and now the delivery and that is going to be another foul ball down the left field line this will be the 8th pitch coming up for Tolson as we play here in the bottom of 1 Tolson comes to the set checks his runner Doug gets blown off the bound once again Wobbles a little bit away, steps on the back of the rubber. That so, wind is just is a pretty steady 25 to 30 mile an hour wind. And now the delivery, and that is going to be inside ball three. So Tolson close to walking Pineda. And the delivery, and that is going to be inside for ball four. Second walk here of the inning now coming up is going to be Donnie Hernandez. See, bats from the right side. Hernandez batting at 206. Only seven hits so far on the year. And that pitch is going to be cute down the right down the uh, first base line for a foul. So no balls and one strike. Now to the sixth place hitter Donnie Hernandez for Morgan is scheduled to play on Saturday uh, against Skyview we'll see how that goes with the weather permitting 
talking about rain on Saturday, so we'll see what goes with that. So runners are first and second, and that pitch just inside. So a ball on a strike to the sixth place hitter, Donnie Hernandez, and the pitch, and that is going to be a big swing and a miss. Nice curve ball there by Bobby Tolson. Tolson now up to 24 pitches. Tolson checks his runner out at second. And now the pitch, and that's going to be nubbed out to the third baseman, but not picked up by Apple. And they're going to say he's safe. They tried to catch the runner back at third. So an error on Apple. So now we have the bases loaded now with the seventh place hitter, Nathaniel Sherrill. So Sherrill, Nathaniel Sherrill, on the year is batting at 360. So Austin Apple. It wasn't wasn't a very hard hit ball. That Austin Apple charged it, but put ball and under his glove. It's now Hernandez at first, Pineda out at second, Sam Sherrill at third. But we do have two outs, and that pitch is going to be low and away for ball one. But we do have two outs here. In the bottom of the first inning, still nine to one, and that's going to be a big swing and a miss. Nice. Ball there by Bobby Tolson. So one ball and one strike now, and Bobby Tolson with the pitch, and that is going to be low for two balls and a strike. As Alameda has the bases loaded, and that is going to be a hard hit ball. Line drive just over the head. Single out to center. Apple did not come up with it. Sam Sherrill does come in on the single. Also advanced. So runners at second and third. So runners at second and third. So now nine to three. So he makes the catch. So out, that is the third out here as the Alameda does bring three across. So Alameda has... So at the end of one, the Mustangs lead it now nine to three. As we go to the top of two here on B106 and B106.com. Brian Nickel back here at the uh, Second, Kelly McGregor Field at All Pro All Star Field in Lakewood as Jimmy Keller will be up. Oh, excuse me, it will be. Let's see who's coming up here. I have it as Jimmy Keller, but I believe it's Isaac Linker. Oh, well, sorry, I know. Yeah, I just As we play here in the top of two. So 
Wisey Flinker up to the plate. As we play here in the top of two, the Mustangs up nine to three. So Isaac Clinker stands in from the right side. Had a single his first time up and that just misses. Linker, he just it went behind him. I thought it was gonna hit him, but just did jump out of the way. As Nathaniel Sherrill still out at the mound for Alameda. 36 total pitches. Looks in to Pineda. Pitches in there for a strike. So one ball and one strike to Linker. So ball and a strike and that is going to be way outside for a ball. Two balls and one strike. We'll go back. The first Fort Morgan run of the game was brought to you by Cargill Meat Solutions. We'll get the rest of that here in just a minute. As Cheryl now with a delivery, and that is going to be fouled back. Cargill is committed to feeding the world in a responsible way by reducing environmental impact and continuously improving products and processes. Learn about Cargill's story of commitment at www.cargill.com. And that pitch is fouled off to the right and out of play for Linker so still sits at two balls and two strikes to the fourth place hitter for the Mustangs Cheryl with the delivery and that is going to be a hard hit ball out to the shortstop but not fielded and Linker will be on for the single This will bring up now Jimmy Keller. To the plate. And that first pitch misses for a ball. So one ball and no strikes to Keller. Pitch misses once again. Two balls and no strikes. Now the delivery and that is going to get away from the catcher and advancing down to second. Will be Linker. On the pass ball. So three balls and no strikes and the pitch and that is going to be low for ball four. Now Alex Ortega comes up to the plate. Still nine to three here. Nine to three here as we play in the top of two. We're gonna step off and throw, fake the throw to first. And the delivery, and it's gonna be bunted down the third baseline, but it's gonna be foul. Tried to advance runners here with the bunt, but did not succeed as it went foul. So Alex Ortega in from the right side. Alex Ortega. Stands in there ready for the pitch and that is going to be better once again. This is a good run out for Cheryl. And that's going to be out at first and advances the runner. Well executed bunt by Alex Ortega. We'll move the runners over. Cheryl Holman on the play as he 
So up to bat is So up at the plate now is Austin Apple. Austin Apple, low and away, ball one. Felix Ortega on deck, calling for driver in the hole. So it's going to be a big swing and a miss there by Apple. So one ball and one strike. As we play here in the top of two, the Mustangs lead at nine to three. I have met nine runs and ten hits, one error. And that is going to be a curveball in there for a strike. Beautiful curve there, curveball there by Cheryl. So one ball and two strikes to Apple. And that is going to be low in the dirt. Nice job to keep the ball in front of him there uh, was Pineda. So as we said, the Mustangs are scheduled to play Saturday morning at 10 o'clock against Skyview. We'll see if the weather permits. And that ball is hit hard out to left field. That is a big fly ball. And off of the ground. In play. So the left fielder with the air. As he was there to make the play, he didn't love, no dive, no anything fancy. Just took his eyes off of it last moment. It's now up at the plate. Is Felix Ortega. So runners out at second and third. And they throw back to second, and the ball goes out to center field. So they're going to bring them both in. And that will be an error. Squeeze the baseball on the throwback. So Keller advances on another air. This one on Cheryl. So Felix Ortega. That ball misses out there for ball one. And the pitch is going to be inside for a strike. So still only one out here in the top of two as the Mustangs have plated three as they now lead it. Or excuse me, just two. Nine spot here in the first. I think they have three across here in the top of two. And that is going to be chopped over the head of the fielder. And that will be an infield hit. Now up to the plate is Connor Fajardo. With Felix Ortega at first. Throw back over. Tried to fake uh, Ortega out, but Ortega stayed right at the base. <coughs> they threw over to first, and the first baseman acted like he had ball had gone by him. Trying to steal out. No balls and no strikes. Now the pitch, and that is going to be fouled. Out of play over to the right. Second inning today's brought to you by. Yeah, as Connor Fajardo stands in at the plate. 
fresh produce at the Frank Price Market, but we're running out of your grocery list. Right to your door. Make sure that we're going to order. It's five bucks. Cheryl looks in for the pitch, or for the sign, excuse me. And now they're going to throw back to first. Back safely is for is uh, Felix Ortega. Connor Fajardo is going to be a swing and a miss. So one ball and two strikes to Fajardo. Let's see if Ortega, the big gust of wind comes in. That's going to be a strike three. So two outs now as J.P. Hamer comes up to the plate. <coughs> Excuse me. So Hamer comes in. And the pitch. And that is going to be a hard hit ball out to center. Hamer in the second. He's not slowing down. He's headed to third. Hamer is going to go to third. They're going to hold him at third. So Hamer with the triple. We'll pick up the number extra base hit. That is his third, no, second double versus the second triple. He's got seven. Yeah, now at the plate is Jacob Ortega. They run the ball down. Two down. As we're back to the top of the order. So now, get the uh, Cheryl gets back up on the yeah. Uh, back up on the mound, he gets blown off the mound. Still strong winds from the west. And Jacob Ortega in at the plate. And the pitch is going to be fouled straight back. So one ball and one strike. And the pitch. And that is going to be fouled back once again. Cheryl out on the mound. 64 total pitches so far for Cheryl. And the pitch is going to be chopped down the third base line and the throw across and will be in there in time for the out. So ground out. So after 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 inning and a half, it is now thirteen to three, Fort Morgan on B one hundred six and B one hundred six dot com. That's what I have. Flagpole. Well, we made it to the bottom of the second inning. It's been eventful. Thirteen to thirteen to three here as we play in the bottom of two. And up to the plate will be Dominic Segura. So pitch in there for a strike to Dominic Gers Dominic Segura. Six seven ERA, twenty one innings pitch coming in. So Bobby Tolson out on the bump today, Fajardo behind the plate, and that is going to be a check swing. Low and away ball, one, two strikes on Dominic Segura. 
I'll be tossing on the end. We'll get the pitch here. Upstairs with that pitch. Two balls, two strikes. Bobby Tolson with a 3.67 ERA with a two point with a two and two record. Now it's a three balls and two strikes. He snuck a pitch back in there someplace. As Tolson looks into Fajardo for the pitch or for the sign, excuse me, and now that is going to be outside. I guess that was going to be ball three. I thought he showed three and two just a minute ago, but three balls and two strikes. That pitch is going to be inside for the walk. So Segura takes a walk down to first. Now top of the batting order once again, Patrick Gallegos. Single his first time up. Now Fajardo's going to go out and talk to Tolson. For just a minute. BB Appliance. When you're shopping for new appliances, shop the best appliance store in Fort Morgan. BB Appliance creates a full and complete line of Whirlpool appliances and will help you find your perfect fit. BB Appliance in downtown Fort Morgan. So 13 to 3 here, Fort Morgan. I have now 12 hits, one error. So strike one. For Gallegos, runner on at first via the walk, Dominic Segura, and that is going to be in there also for a strike. Nice job there by Bobby Tolson, still fighting that wind. Out in the field, still a real hard wind out of the west. But Bobby Tolson with the delivery, and that is going to be his blind drive right to the shortstop, and they will double up. Nice job there. Second, on the so double play. The baseball was in the air. Now he's got to be convinced that he was double up. So. Over there at second base. So that is a quick double play. Yeah. Through by the Mustangs. Chicken for second. Six to three. As again, Segura. I don't know if it was supposed to be a hit and run. So he was doubled up out there. Slid in the second. And then he was doubled up. First pitch to Michael Rivera. Well, this ball was. So, ball one. So now Michael Rivera up at the plate. One ball and one strike. Nice double play ball, and that ball is going to be fouled off to the right and out of play. So 42 pitches now for Bobby Tolson, 65 for Nathan Nathaniel Shell, and the pitch, and that's going to be low and in the dirt. So two balls, two strikes. Michael Rivera. Did get a single his first time up. And the pitch is going to be fouled at the plate. So it remains two balls and two strikes. So Bob Tolson gets the sign and the delivery, and that is going to be low and in the dirt. Three balls, two strikes. Tolson gathers himself out on the rubber and the delivery, and that is going to be a hard hit center field and a beat off the pop down of the glove of J.P. Hamer. So an error on Hamer. Bring up Sam Sherrill. Sam Sherrill bats from the left side. Now throw over to first, but back in safely is Rivera. So 13 to 3, Fort Morgan, as we play in the bottom of two, and they're going to throw back over to first once again. Back in safely is Sherrill. Pitch to Segura. 
Sham Sarah, that's going to be a hard hit. And that's going to drop for a base hit just over the uh, infield. So now where is that first and second with two outs? And that will bring up Carlos Rosales, grounded out his first time up, also bats from the left side. So Michael Rivera out at second, Sam Sherrill at first. Mustangs leading at 13 to 3, had nine in the first, four in the second. And the delivery, and that is going to be a swing and a miss. He was fooled on that pitch. So Tolson checks his runner out at second. And the delivery, and that is going to be fouled off to the left. So Tolson ahead in the count now. No balls and two strikes. Let's see if we can get this. See if we can get Rosales out and get to the top of the third without any damage being done. Now they're going to throw over to first and going to be safe is Cheryl as McBride ducked in behind Cheryl over at first. Cheryl did get back to the base safely. So now they're going to call time at the plate. Northeastern for a college that will equip you to go anywhere. Look no further than Northeastern. For more information, go to www.njc.edu. Jardo sets up outside a little bit, and that's right where it was pitched, but that is going to be a ball. One ball, two strikes. To the fourth place batter, Carlos Rosales. And the pitch, and that is going to be swing and a miss, but it will be foul. So runners at first and second. Michael Rivera at second, Sam Sherrill at first, but two outs. 13 to 3 Fort Morgan here in the bottom of the second inning. Big gust of wind comes through once again. They're going to call time as that wind comes through as the dirt blows around here out across the infield. It does have a nice grass infield, but the base pads are dirt. And it is howling across here right now. As the flag's out in left center field or being stretched to their limit and the delivery and that is going to be hit down the third base line and, and caught nice job by Austin Allen as he was fighting that nice job by Austin Apple as that brings it to an end so the Mustangs still lead at 13 to 3 after 2 on B106 and B106.com. Thirteen to three here as we go into the top of the third inning. Uh, Trey McBride comes up to the plate. As their umpires are talking here. We have a new I think we have a new pitcher. No. Um, and we'll see who went out to center field. We'll see if they just switch spots. Let's see, number seven now is out at Dominic Segura is now out at center. Center field is Dominique Garcia. So second base. Let's see who was. Dominique Garcia or Segura is now out at center. Brown comes out. So second base now will be Patrick Gallegos. I think we have everybody taken care of here. Now it's Trey McBride. Put up there for a ball. And 
the pitch, and that is going to be popped up. We'll see if that is going to be it's playable. We'll just see if they can do it. That is all going over the head. That was a lot That's clear out to the head. We'll see if they are going to hold him a third for the triple. That ball got up in the air. So that ball just about got out of here. So now Isaac Linker up at the plate. With Trey McBride now at third. That ball was a little more popped up, but he got up into that airstream, and now that is going to be a hard hit ball down the left field line. So now 14 to 3. That will bring up Jimmy Keller. As Isaac Linker now stands out at first base. As we play here in the top of three, so the Mustangs have plated runners on each of the first three innings. That pitch is low for a ball. Jimmy Keller at the plate. So now Sam Sherrill checks his runner over at first and now comes to it. It's going to be bunted, but it's going to be foul. So one ball and one strike to Keller. Yes, Keller looks down to uh, Josh Langford down to the third base coaching box. There's a few people here here from Fort Morgan to watch. Now another gust of wind blows through. They're going to call time for just a minute. Let that, let that uh, gust go on through. Get the dirt cleared out. So 14 to 3 Fort Morgan as we play here in the top of the third. So we will and the pitch is in the four ball. Three balls and one strike. And the pitch is going to be rolling outside and that will be a that was going to be a ball anyway, so so ball four. So now that brings up Alex Ortega with runners at first and second, no outs. As we play here in the top of the third. Cheryl with the look and the pitch. That's going to be a hit ball out to left field and caught out there. To left field. So everybody holds up where they were at. So now that will bring up Austin Apple. So Austin Apple now at the plate. And Cheryl looks back. He's going to throw over to first. Back safely is Keller. They're going to call time here for just a minute. They're going to. Somebody needs some sunglasses, I believe. Patrick Gallegos at second base, calling for some shades. So Cheryl with the look, and that is going to be gets away from the catcher. Everybody is going to advance. Pass ball to catch the catcher banana. Ball one to Austin Apple and pass ball. Pass ball. So now runners are second and third. 
is one ball and no strikes. As they dog in behind out at second base, but that's going to be called a strike. Excuse me. So one ball and one strike to Austin Apple. Up 11, 14 to 3 in the top of the third. Nana's going to be a swing and a miss. Now screwed himself into the ground there with it. that swing. So Austin Apple behind in the count. One ball and two strikes as they call time again for another gust of wind. And the short second baseman's hat is blown off, so he's going to go without his hat for right now. Sitting out in short right field. And the delivery, and that is upstairs. So two balls, two strikes. To the seventh place batter, Austin Apple. Felix Ortega on deck, Carlos Fajardo in the hole. So a couple of them sitting out there for Apple. And the pitch, and that is going to be a hard hit ball by the, by the uh, shortstop. So So nice job there by Austin. Shortstop and Cheryl Hernandez, black to go chasing. So now Felix Ortega up to the plate. Now 16 to 3, Fort Morgan. As we play here in the third. So runner out at second base is Austin Apple. And then behind him, but they, yeah, they're going to throw back, but that ball is going to go out to center field. But Austin Apple is going to stay put. I'm not sure he knew where the ball went to. But he is standing out at second base, so the coach Langford talking to him there, maybe, I'm not sure. So Sam Sherrill out on the Hill now for Nathaniel Sherrill that was in earlier. That is going to be fouled off. He has thrown 14 total pitches so far, six balls and eight strikes. That's Felix Ortega at the plate. No balls and one strike, and that hits him. So hit by a pitch. Now that will bring up Connor Fajardo. So runners now at first and second with Fajardo up. Hamer on deck. Jacob Ortega in the hole. 16 to 3 as we play here in the top of the third. So Cheryl with the delivery and that hits. Fajardo. So that's about the third pitch batter hit. It's now JP Hamer up at the plate with the bases loaded. Yeah, he looks like maybe Castaneda is going to come in and run. Well, not now. Yep, Castaneda is going to run at first. So Nick Castaneda now out at first. With Hamer at the plate, and that is going to be in there for the strike. No balls and one strike to Hamer. So Hamer on the year, he has uh, 15 hits and 13 RBIs coming into the game. And now the pitch, big curveball, beautiful looking pitch there by Cheryl for the strike. The base is loaded here for the Mustangs for Hamer as they lead it 16 to 3 here in the top of the third. Put three across here so far. And the pitch, another curveball, that's going to be a little wide. 
It's a one ball and two strikes to Hamer. Sport Morgan leads the uh, Colorado Seven League three and zero. Well, Port Lupton also is three and zero. That ball is fouled off to the left. Skyview sits at three and one. Carla for two and two. Wells Central one and two, as well as Alameda one and two. Englewood is zero and two. Arvada is zero and four. Fort Morgan has allowed only five runs in those three wins, and they have scored forty-two of their own. Now they can add another sixteen to the top of that one. So Cheryl with the pitch, curveball in there for the strikeout. So now Jacob Ortega up to the plate. Now with one out, two outs, excuse me. So two outs here in the top of the third. The Mustangs have plated three. And Jacob Ortega at the plate with the bases loaded. And that pitch is going to be low and outside. Nice stop there by Pineda. As he slides out to his right to get that pitch. So Cheryl gets his sign in. Now the delivery, and that is a curveball, and that's going to be fouled back. So one ball and one strike to Jacob Ortega. Trey McBride on deck, Isaac Linker in the hole. And the delivery by Cheryl is going to be hit down the left field line. I believe it's going to stay foul. It was fouled by about 10 or 15 feet. So the base is still loaded here in the top of the third, 13 or 16 to 3. The Mustangs have plated three. Scored four in the second and nine in the first. So Cheryl with the delivery and the pitch, and that's going to be popped up down the right field line. A fly ball. We'll see. It's the, it drops. Lost it in the sun. So we got two in. So that's going to be a double down on the, the right field. So, so uh, now McBride will come up as Ortega gets the double. It's now 18 to 3 here in the top of the third. McBride up at the plate. As he awaits the pitch by Cheryl. Not a good day to be a fielder out here in the field. And that ball's hit high and deep to left field. McBride, against the wind, will put one off the side in left field. A three run. Three run dinger there for Trey McBride. As he goes yard. So now 21 to 3. McBride got all of that. He, he hit that off the sign out in left field. And that's the uh, fourth home run of the year for McBride. Mustangs may not play here for a while, but McBride has left his mark a couple times on the scoreboard left. So now Isaac Linker to follow this up. Now 21 to 3 Fort Morgan. And Cheryl with the delivery, and that is going to be outside for a ball. As we play here with two outs, but Trey McBride got all of that one and planted it into the sign out in left field. Pretty soon, McBride's not even going to see a pitch. He'll just say four instead of doing the bases loaded. So Cheryl now with the two ball no strike look in here and now the delivery and it's going to be low ball three. So I have it stacked up. It's 42 to 5 in three games. So Fort Morgan has outscored opponents 63 to 8. So Fort Morgan has outscored opponents 63 to 8. So Cheryl now with the look in and the delivery and that is going to be outside had three balls and a strike excuse me 
So three balls and one strike. Two linker. Now Cheryl's going to step off for a minute. And gets his sign now from Pineda and the delivery, and that is going to be a hard hit ball through the left side. For Linker, <coughs> hard hit ball out to left field. So that will bring Jimmy Keller up to the plate. So a eight spot here so far on the scoreboard for the Mustangs. As Jimmy Keller steps up to the plate, and that ball is going to be a, a pass ball to Laker, and Lakers thought about going to third. But Linker now out at second with Jimmy Keller at the plate. As that wind continues to blow hard from left to right, that pitch is going to be in there for a strike. So one ball and one strike to Jimmy Keller. And the delivery, and that is going to get by the catcher once again, and that will send uh, Linker over to third. So Cheryl with 33 total pitches here. A couple of wild pitches. So a runner at third with two outs. And the delivery in that curveball must have been just a little bit inside to Keller. So two balls and one strike. 21 to 3 Fort Morgan here in the top of the third. And the pitch, and that is going to be short hop for ball. For ball four. So that brings up Alex Ortega with runners at the corner. Brinker at third and Keller at first. And a delivery, and that is going to be hit foul down the left field line as Coach Langford picks that up. So no balls and one strike to Alex Ortega, the number six batter, playing right field today for the Mustangs. Cheryl now with a delivery, and that is going to be, I mean, they're going to call it a strike with a little wide, but caught the outside part of the plate. Maybe the ref is just trying to get this game over here a little bit, given the, widen that plate just a little bit. And the delivery, nice curveball, but that's going to be fouled down the left field line also past Langford in the coach's box. Snowballs and two strikes to Ortega. So Cheryl looks in once again, comes to the set, and the delivery, and that ball is, that time it's fair down the So Linker comes in on the single. So now Austin Apple up at the plate with Felix Ortega on deck. So now 22 to 3. And that is going to be in there for a strike. Uh, the start to <laughs> yeah, Cheryl looks into Pineda for his sign and the delivery, and that is going to be up for.
for a ball. So one ball and one strike as we play here at the top of the third as the Mustangs have matched their output of the first inning with nine runs. And the pitch is going to be up a little bit for ball two. As the wind gusts once again bringing some dirt across the infield as Cheryl tries to stay on out at, out at the rubber on the mound. So Cheryl checks his runner out at second. And now the delivery, and that is going to be low and outside. Ball three, three balls and one strike. Five pitches for Cheryl in the inning. Cheryl comes to the set, checks his runners, and now the curveball is going to be up for ball four. So Alex Ortega, or Felix Ortega, excuse me, comes up with the bases loaded. We've played an hour and 25 minutes, and we are in the top of the third. Nine runs in the first, four in the second, nine in the third. with Felix Ortega at the plate with the bases loaded and Cheryl with the delivery and that is going to be a wild pitch back to the fence and they, everybody holds. It started in from third but went back. So Felix Ortega at the plate. And Sam Sherrill with the delivery. And that is going to be a hard hit ball right at the second baseman. And that will be the tag out for the third out. So a ground out to second base for the out. But we will go to the bottom of the third with the Mustangs up 22-3 to on B106 and B106.com. again in the, this time in the third inning, they put nine up in the first, four in the second, now nine here in the third. Alameda put up three in the first for the 22 to three lead here as we go to the bottom of the third. And up to the plate will be Esteban Pineda. He is reached by via the walk in the first his first time up and that pitch is going to be low for a ball. One ball and no strikes. That one in there for a strike. One ball and one strike. To Esteban Pineda, the first baseman. And the delivery, that is a hard hit ball out to left field, and that's going to be all night. Jimmy Keller gets that one off out there for the out. So he tracked that one down well. In left field for the out. So that brings up Donnie Hernandez. Big swing and a miss there for strike one. As Bobby Tolson still out on the plate, down on the bump for the Mustangs. In there for strike two, so nice job there by Tolson. Let's see if we have any 
don't believe we have anybody that has changed positions. That's going to be fouled back. I believe everybody is still. In position here, that is going to be low for a ball, one ball and two strikes. I'm trying to see who's at second. I don't believe it's Linker out there anymore. It's hard to tell. And that's going to be hard hit. Oh, nice job by Apple. Oh, Goes five to one for the out, but he lays out for that hard, hard grounder. Then from his knees, he throws it to McBride at first for the second out. Nathaniel Sherrill now at the plate. And that is going to be a hard hit ball. And that will go to center field for a base hit. So Julian Pineda. He is over one of the fly out. As the wind whips up once again, another big gust comes through as the trash and leaves and everything else comes flying through. That's going to be a ball. To Julian Pineda. 22 to 3 Mustangs. We play in the bottom of three. That's going to be fouled down the third base line. Nathaniel Sherrill back to second, or back to first, excuse me. Bobby Tolson still out on the hill. Connor Fajardo behind the plate. Nice stop there by Fajardo on that low ball. Let me see who's out at second. I don't believe it's Isaac Winker. I can't tell just who's out there. But that is going to be a chopper to Apple. Low throw over, but nice job. There by McBride. Just get it. So ground out two thirds. So that would do it for Alameda at the end of the third inning. So we will go to the top of the fourth inning with the Mustangs leading at 22 to 3 on B106 and B106.com. <laughs> 22 to 3 as we play here in the top of the fourth inning. We'll see who's coming up here if we have any changes. here. Welcome back to All-Star Park. We'll have a new so pitcher. So, you see, as Sam Sherrill throws 48 pitches in the inning. Mustang still lead at 22 to 3. Donnie Hernandez will come in from the left field. Well, we will get some changes here. Connor Fajardo but coming up to the plate. So number six, Donnie Hernandez will now be at the plate. We're at the uh, So number six, I believe, is Donnie Hernandez will be pitching left field. Let's see if we can get who's out in left. Short bench for Josh Lankford. Let's see who's out in. Trying to see who's out in left field. That will be number seven. Now in left field. So left field will be Dominic Segura. Center field. We'll see if we can get some people moving around here. Uh, Carter Fajardo up to the plate though for the Mustangs. We're trying to see who's out in center field. That looks like that will be Sam Sherrill back out at 
center field. I think we've got everybody where they belong now. So we will have Connor Fajardo up at the plate as the Mustangs lead at 22 to 3. We are going into the top of the fourth inning with the 25 to 30 mile an hour wind still out of the west. So ball one, no strikes. Two for Jardo. As Donnie Hernandez with the delivery and nope, must have just jumped out of the way. I thought maybe he had got got nailed with that one, but he jumps back out of the way. So for Jardo at the plate, Hamer on deck, Ortega in the hole. If they continue with everybody, I believe they only have two extra players at the on the bench today, and that is uh, Devin Musman and Nick Castaneda. And that is a hard hit ball down the left field line. We'll see if that's good. What did they say then? Apparently, it's a foul ball. It's fair foul. It looks like it was pretty close to me. In They're going to call it a long foul ball. So two balls and one strike here as Fajardo stays at the plate. That was close to being a close to being a fair ball, not caught out there. And that is going to be inside for ball three. So more paper floating across the infield here as Donnie Hernandez comes to the set and the delivery and that is going to be a nub out to the first baseman as he picks it up and touches the bag for the out. So a little ground out to the first baseman. So Hamer up at the plate. As we play here in the top of the fourth, the for the Mustangs coming up here later on this week uh, should be at home against Skyview on Saturday. We'll see how that goes. Then they'll play Longmont on Tuesday, the 24th. So that'll be their big test coming up next week. And that's a hard hit ball out to center field. And nice catch out there by the center field. So a line drive out to center field. So that will bring up Jacob Ortega. Trey McBride on deck. Isaac Linker in the hole. As Hernandez with the delivery. And that is going to be a foul ball down the left field line. So no balls and one strike to the second place hitter, Jacob Ortega. As we continue, the last game of the year will be home on Wednesday the 25th against Fort Lupton. So three games left after today. And the pitch, and that is going to be low for a ball. One ball, one strike. To Jacob Ortega. With Trey McBride on deck, he had a home run in the last at bat. Donnie Hernandez and the pitch, nice curveball. They're going to call that a strike. So one ball, two strikes. As we play here in the top of the fourth inning. Here at Kelly McGregor Field in All-Star Park in Lakewood. And now the pitch, and that is going to be inside. But that will also be a hit batsman. That's going to be about four hit batsmen today. Well, 
Now, Trey McBride up at the plate. McBride absolutely smashed the baseball off the side and left field, and Hernandez going to take it back. So Hernandez gets back up on the rubber there as he checks the runner over at second, over at first, excuse me. As McBride settles in, see if he can put another one out. And that is going to be low and away. Nice stop there behind the plate by Pineda. Donnie Hernandez, the third pitcher of the game for Alameda. Now Alameda came into this. He, they were one and two. They had scored 30 runs, given up 34. Now they've given up, well, they've given up uh, 22 runs in this game so far. That ball is going to be up four ball two. Two balls and no strikes. As the trash and leaves and blows through as they call time at the plate for just a minute. Now they're going to get back in. They drive back in at the plate. Yes, Hernandez checks the runner over at first. And Hernandez with the delivery, and that is going to be inside. So three balls, no strikes now to McBride. We'll see if they want to pitch, pitch to him. Looks like they're going to go ahead and pitch to him. I guess it doesn't make any difference when it's 22 to 3. They're going to throw over to first, back safely though. Here's Ortega. So 22 hits. They have 15. I have him down with 19 hits and two errors. So 22 to 3 as we play here in the top of the fourth. McBride at the plate hit a monster home run his last time up at the plate. Ortega out at first, two out with a 3 0 count to McBride. Four home runs on the year for McBride, and that ball is a hard hit. So McBride with that single to left field. And he advances the to Ortega to second, but with that single to left field, McBride hits for the cycle. He just needed the single for the cycle, and he got it here in the top of the fourth, so runners at first and second with two out. And Linker at the plate. And the delivery, and that is going to be fouled back to the screen. So the Mustangs came into this game 8-3 and three overall, 3-0 three and oh in league. They're going to go to 4-0. and oh in league and nine and three overall. For the game Saturday, possibly against Skyview if the weather permits. That will be a 10 o'clock game Saturday and that is gonna hit Linker. Kind of trying to dance out of the way. Hopefully the umpire is called for Mustang back for not trying to get out of the way kind of leaving the base like that's So now that loads the bases now for Jimmy Keller. So we are here with an hour and 45 minutes as we play in the top of the fourth inning, 22 to three Mustangs. So Keller in at the plate from the right side. Hernandez with the delivery and that is going to be loaned in the dirt for a ball, one ball, no strikes. As Ortega down at third, McBride out at second. And Linker over at first with Keller at the plate. 390 to straightaway center field. And the delivery, and that is going to be fouled off at the plate. Let's see what the, it looks like 328 down the left field line and 330 down the right field line here at All Star Park. 
It's one ball and one strike. Is Jimmy Keller at the plate? And Hernandez with the delivery, and that is going to be low ball. Two, two balls and one strike. It's like Nick, I believe it's going to be Nick Castaneda will be up next if Keller gets on. So 22 to 3 here with Keller at the plate. As he is ahead in the count with two balls and one strike. Donnie Hernandez out on the mound for the Alameda Pirates this inning. And the pitch, and that is going to be fouled off at the plate. So Nick Castaneda will be up if Keller gets on. So we will have to go clear through the bottom of the fifth inning to make this a complete shortened game. So Donnie Hernandez with the set and the delivery, and that is going to be a hard hit ball out to center. So a single so now Nick Castaneda who will be up now his first time up at the plate and that pitch is going to be low and in the dirt for ball one to Castaneda. 17 hits for Fort Morgan. Got two so Castaneda on the year is batting right at 500. So we have McBride out at third. Linker at second and Keller at first. And that is going to be a foul ball down the left field line. So one ball and one strike. As Castaneda is batting for Alex Ortega. Austin Apple on deck. And we'll see if Felix Ortega in the hole if we get that far. So 23 to 3. Donnie Hernandez with the delivery and that is going to be in there for the strike. Looks like it was a little wide. But we'll, we'll go ahead and give him the strike. Two balls. Or one ball and two strikes, excuse me. As Castaneda at the plate for his first appearance today. And Hernandez with the pitch and the curve ball. That's going to stay up. So two balls and two strikes. As we play here on a windy Tuesday afternoon here in Lakewood. Donnie Hernandez checks his runners and comes to the set and the delivery and that is going to be hard hit. So Castaneda comes back and grabs his bat and stays alive at the plate. So two balls, two strikes, two outs. 23 to 3 here, Fort Morgan. As they have plated people in each of the first four innings, 9, 4, 9, and 1 so far. So Castaneda waits for Hernandez as he looks in to Pineda for the sign and now the delivery, and that is going to be a swing and a miss. Four strike three. For the Mustangs here at the top of the fourth. 
Trey McBride will complete the cycle here. In so we will back see back after after three and a half, the Mustangs lead at 23-3 on B106 and B106.com. You're Uptown Radio, KFPF. Okay, Twenty-three to three, Port Morgan as we play here in the bottom of the fourth inning. It will not be Dominic Garcia, it does not look like it will be Let's see if we get a or Dominic Segura, excuse me. That will be Anto Anthony Agosto at the plate. And I don't know if it's like Austin Apple still at third. McBride is still at first. So ball one to Anthony Agosto. And Agosto on the year is batting at 414. Next pitch in there, a ball and a strike, and that ball is going to be hit out to left field. And nice job by Jimmy Keller for the out as he runs to his left for the out. So now up, uh, we'll see if it is Patrick Gallego still in the top of the batting order, and it is. He is one for two, a single and a line drive. Bobby Tolson still on the mound. 68 total pitches for Tolson. And that is in there. Nice curveball in there for the strike. Bobby Tolson, 25 balls, 44 strikes. As we play here, 23 to 3 Fort Morgan. Another that's going to be a hit out to center field. And that will be squeezed out there uh, by J.P. Hamer for the out. So a fly out to center field. So two up, two down. Michael Rivera up at the plate. As he is one for two, a single and reach on an error. That pitch is going to be outside for a ball. One ball and no strikes. In an hour and 55 minutes so far game time. And that is going to be a big swing and a miss there by Michael Rivera. And the pitch, and that hit him. So that's the first first hit batsman today for Tolson. Let to see who we have. I guess that may be still uh, Jacob Ortega out at shortstop. I'm not sure who's at at shortstop. But up to the plate is Sam Sherrill. He is one for one, a walk and a single. That ball misses for a ball. One ball, no strikes. Carlos Rosales on deck. Esteban Pineda in the hole. And that ball is going to be fouled to the first baseman, or first base coach, excuse me. So one ball and one strike to Sam Sherrill. As that is going to be a swing and a miss on a ball on a uh, pitch that was low and away. But one ball and two strikes with two outs here. We'll see if we can get this third out and move on to the fifth inning. Get this contest over with here. And that pitch is going to be low and away. That breaking ball just a little low. So Bobby Tolson, they're going to check the runner over at first. He throws over, but back in safely is Michael Rivera. It's going to be 
up it over his head. Yep. And the runner Rivera will advance to second we'll base. We'll get two seconds. We'll give that a wild pitch. And that will send Michael Rivera out to second. So 23 to 3. Tolson with the pitch, and that is going to be chopped out to the second baseman. And they're going to call him out at first. Nice job out there by Castaneda to get the out. So ground out to second base. So we will go to the top of the fifth, and that was the Mustangs up 23-3 on B106 and B106.com. Finally, we get to the top of the fifth inning after almost two hours here, an hour and 59 minutes. And it is 23-3 Fort Morgan. And I believe Donnie Hernandez still on the bump for Alameda as they continue their warm-ups here on the infield. Welcome back to All-Star Park, Scott Roberts. So we will see here is it will be Austin Apple up at the plate. We'll start with Austin Apple here in the top of the fifth inning as we press on all We'll see if we can get through the top of this inning fairly quickly. It's been a long game for only four innings. So we'll see what continues here. It will be Austin Apple and then Felix Ortega. And Connor Fajardo after that is the seven, eight, and nine hitters for the Mustangs. So Austin Apple up at the plate as he awaits the pitch from Donnie Hernandez. Hernandez came in the last inning, 27 total pitches. And that another hits Batman by for the Mustangs. As that will send Austin Apple to first. Felix Ortega up at the plate. And it looks like Connor Fajardo still will be batting in the bottom of the or top of the fifth here. Felix Ortega. As they will, the third base coach is coming around. I'm not sure just what they're. Up until this point, was a lone Mustang without a base hit. He's reached twice. Like Austin Apple, who is that? Uh, Austin Apple down there, near. Walking off his injury there, I believe. So the third base, or, no, it was the third base coach. He just never got back from his last to the bottom of the fourth. So we do have no balls and no strikes here yet on Felix Ortega as we play here in the top of the fifth. And that ball is going to get by. But Austin Apple is going to stay put. Out at first. As the looks like they have a different uh, different catcher, but we will see how that goes. It looks like it's number nine, maybe. Yeah, that is base hit for Ortega with this with the single. By the down the by the third baseman. And that will bring up Carlo Fajardo with J.P. Hamer on deck. So no outs here in the top of the fifth. Runners at first and second. And Donnie Hernandez with the pitch and that goes behind Fajardo. I'm not sure. I don't think it hit the bat. So ball one. Donnie Hernandez with the delivery, and that is going to be outside. Ball two. Two balls and no strikes to Connor Fajardo, catcher for the Mustangs.
as the Mustangs played at nine in the first, four in the second, nine in the third, one in the fourth. And the delivery, and that is going to be a hard hit ball down the left field. So double by Fajardo. So he had sat down into the corner in the left field. So now runners at second and third, and that will bring up JP Hamer. Now 24 to 3. To the top of the order here. And the delivery, and that is going to be low. Ball one. So Darnie Hernandez on the bump for and the delivery. And that yeah, the ball is going to be hit out to left center, and that's going to be caught out there in, out in left field. Ortega. Sacrifice fly off the bat of J.P. Hamer. Packs off literally to the right fielder Rivera to make that play as he lost his on his way to track down that fly ball off the bat. So fly out, sacrifice out to right, or right field. So now runner at third with one out. Why have Now is Jacob Ortega at the plate with a one and one count. And that ball that is going to be in there for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Now to Jacob Ortega. Top of the fifth inning here, and the pitch is going to be hit out to the, going to get by the shortstop. So that will bring in Fajardo. <laughs> Continue the onslaught here at at Kelly McGregor Field here at the All-Star Park in Lakewood. So now it's now 26 to 3. So Trey McBride up at the plate. Yes, he is hit for the cycle today. And that pitch is in there for a strike. As we play with... So 25 to 3. Twenty-six to three, I believe. And the delivery, and that is going to be low and away for a ball. To McBride, one ball, one strike. To McBride, Donnie Hernandez, forty-two total pitches, twenty balls, twenty-two strikes. As he looks into Pineda for the sign. And now the delivery, and that is going to be in the dirt. So we'll see what happens here with McBride. It looks like Linker still... At the 
in the line batting, and now McBride is going to be hit. So McBride will be hit by a pitch, and will be the eighth batter hit by an Alabama pitching. Now runners at first and second with Isaac Linker at the plate. And Jimmy Keller on deck. So Isaac Linker at the plate, awaiting the pitch from Donnie Hernandez. The Mustangs have two on. McBride at first. Ortega out at second. And that pitch misses for ball one. Hernandez with the set and the delivery and nice stop there by the catcher. It was over the head of Linker. For ball two. So one out here. And the pitch is in there for a strike. Final regular season road trip for the Mustangs as they will be at home the rest So one out here, 25 to 3. If we have another road game, it means win that opening weekend. 25 to 3 as we play here in this contest. And that is going to be a line foul down the left field line. Assuming that Mustangs win the Colorado set, win the league tournament. Linker stands in from the right side. Even count. Two balls, two strikes. One out. And that is inside as Linker ducks out of the way. Three balls and two strikes. With two on. McBride out at first. Ortega out at second. Hernandez checks his runners, comes to the set, and the delivery, and that is going to be outside for ball four. And that will bring up Jimmy Keller with the bases loaded. As McBride gets out to second. Wind still whipping hard out of the west. Hernandez with the look, and that is going to be in side for a ball. One ball and no strikes to Jimmy Keller. So they're going to, going to try and see if they can pick off McBride as he wasn't looking. Now they're going to throw back, back in safely. So he was off talking to the shortstop and the second baseman. Ran in behind over to second, but somebody got his attention, got him back over to second base before he got through it out. So 25 to 3 here, Fort Morgan in the top of the fifth. Hernandez with 51 total pitches. And the pitch, and that is going to be a swing and a miss. Castaneda on deck. And the delivery, and that is going to be popped up down the right field line. We'll see if it's in play, but cannot come up with it. Linker racing to get there to second as Ortega will score. And another hit for Jimmy Keller. This is a little loop for the clears guy. So the bases are loaded now. Off the bat, couldn't find it. still. And Gallegos almost. Down now 26 to 3 is Nick Castaneda up at the plate. 
Still with only one out. And Austin Apple on deck. They're going to throw over to first. Oh, they're going to tag out at third for the second out. So now runners at first and second now with two outs. Big gust of wind coming through once again as they call a little bit of time here. So Big Castaneda is still at the plate. Runners at first and second. And that's off the helmet. So now Austin Apple up at the plate with the bases loaded. So Austin Apple at the plate. And the delivery, and that is in there for a strike. 27 to 3. 21 hits. Lincoln just standing off third base. Hernandez. <laughs> Lincoln now. Going to be picked off third. That's going to end the so inning. So that's going to end the inning. They've got to get themselves up here at the top of the fifth inning. Over there, third base. As we will move down to the bottom, there is 27 to 3. Lincoln as we move. Mustangs 27 to 3. As we go into the top, or into the bottom of the fourth inning now, here on B106 and B106.com. So 27 to 3 here as we play in the bottom of the fifth inning. And it is 27 to 3. As we play here in the top of the first, so Jimmy Keller in. Jimmy Keller will be on the mound now. And it looks like Jacob Ortega still at second. Let me see who we have out in left field. Looks like. Left field, I believe, is Isaac Blinker. So Castaneda, but he can't come up with it. And it's going to be a... So it could play, but that was an error on Castaneda. So Carlos Rosales on at first. And that will bring up Esteban Pineda, number 14. He is 0 for 1 on a walk and a fly out as we play 27 to 3 here in the bottom of the fifth with a runner at first. So Jimmy Keller on the hill for Fort Morgan, and that is in there for a strike. Nice hook there by Jimmy Keller. Freeman Bride still out at first, Castaneda at second. Austin out to the third, and that's going to be fouled back for strike two. two. Pineda waiting for the pitch, and that is going to be up high. Four two balls and two strikes on the number five hitter, and that is going to be a hard hit ball through the left side. For the single, and two second is is uh, Rosales, Esteban Pineda now at first. Donnie Hernandez at the plate. He is 0 for 2. Air reach on an error and a ground out. So 
that is going to be a line drive. Fielding in the triple play. Steps on second. We'll throw it to third. Before Morgan Mustang's postgame show is brought to you by Morgan Community College. Find out why Morgan Community College is the best choice for your higher education. Visit MCC online at www.morgancc.edu or stop by the campus for a personal advising session. MCC is to help you imagine, believe, and achieve your goals. Well, the Mustangs win it here uh, this afternoon by a score of 27 to 3. I have the Mustangs with 27 runs, 24 hits, 3 errors, and 10 left. Alameda with 3 runs, 6 hits, 3 errors, and 6 left on. Mustangs score 9 in the first, 4 in the second, 9 in the third, 1 in the fourth, and 4 in the fifth. Alameda gets their 3 runs in the first inning. Bobby Tolson will get the win. Let's see what he had for totals here. Um, just a trio of hitters give up a hit, and that is it. Oh, we will the big three and five is Kellerworks once more. Go and see what they had for the for the Alabama Pirates. We're going to do some quick math. They pitched three innings total as the Mustangs win it here by a score of 27 to 3. So Donnie Hernandez with the loss, talking about Bobby Tolson with the win. So Trey McBride does hit for the cycle in this game with that monstrous uh, three-run home run. And uh, then they end the game on a triple play. So nice game here by the, good game actually here by the Paul Morgan Mustangs as they win at 27-3. to is two hours and 21 minutes. Um, Bobby Tolson with the win. The Mustangs will now go out, will play at home on Saturday if the weather permits uh, at 10 o'clock against Skyview. Our Fort Morgan Mustangs player of the game is brought to you by Transwest Chevrolet Buick, serving Northeast Colorado and now located in Fort Morgan and Sterling. They have a great selection of new and used vehicles. Stop by and take a test drive. The player of the game today will be Trey McBride as he hits for the cycle here at uh, Kelly McGregor Field All-Star Park here in Lakewood with the big win here for the Mustangs as they take it 27-3. to Mustangs will now improve to 4-0 on the season in league and 9-3 and overall. As I said, they will play Skyview on Saturday, weather permitting, and we will have that game for you here on B106 as well as B106.com. Uh, and that will be a 10 o'clock uh, first pitch. So we will bring this game to an end today. Our thanks to Isaac Greenwood, our engineer and producer for Fort Morgan Mustangs Baseball. Uh, once again, the Mustangs win at 27-3. They have a cycle hit for by Trey McBride. The game ends on a triple play. Uh, couldn't ask for anything better as we will uh, talk to you on Saturday here. Uh, this has been Brian Nickel. Once again, the final score, 27-3, Fort Morgan on B106 and B106.com. Good afternoon, everybody.